Hey guys, so I've I've had this photo actually for a while and I've always wanted to sketch this adorable cougar. Shout out to Gretchen Morganson. Mogensen. Mogensen. Gretchen Mogensen on Instagram. So let's get started with this this rascal. Okay, so first I'm just gonna start out with a nice circle. I don't know why it's nice. Usually my circles are quite messy. Okay, so we have our circle there. Center line here. And now I'm going to do these ears. Let me make his head a little bigger. Okay, so for the ears, I'm just going to sort of try to keep it... Actually, his head is kind of flatter on top, so I want to allow for that flatness on top. I'm just going to try to keep this kind of fun and light and kind of use these nice shapes of ears that just flow off the head. That's nice. Oops. These kind of ear flaps I actually use a lot. A lot of animals, their ears always curve like that, so it's nice to kind of incorporate these these little flappies. All right, so let's figure out where the eyes are gonna be. So uh, for these eyes, I'm gonna be drawing this whole um, eye socket section. So first I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this triangle here. Um, I mean, that, that's kind of how I think of it. I think of it as a triangle, so I'm, I'll do this and it'll sort of point to the center, which is kind of like a little bit above where the nose is. So I use that as a, a sort of like a guide. So now I can come up here. Make a nice little eye socket area. And then do the same thing on this side. So I'll just come down a little bit more. And a nice little eye socket area there. It's not the most straight, but that's okay. I think I think it's straight enough to work with. I'll bring this down a little bit. Okay, so now we have those eye sockets. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and add the eyes. So if I want to do it more like the, the image, the eyes are more like this, but I want them to look really happy, so I'm going to sort of cheat that, and I'm just going to make his eyes like this. because I do a lot of eyes closed and um, they just always look good when they're just as simple as possible because I'm not matching all of the contours of his face so therefore I you know sometimes have to also you know just kind of make the art so it works and not actually match everything perfectly Okay, so now we have his nice little snout, his cute little snout here. So his nose, let's see, we'll make a nice little make a nice little heart for his nose. And then we'll do his little snout. So nice and round. Nice and round. And we'll just use that roundness to sort of shape our smile. Give him a nice big smile. There we go. I don't want to make it too, too big. So give him a nice big smile. His nose, his little nostrils. He's a little round. His nose sorta of, sorta of, sorta of has a little shape to it, so it looks like it's looks like it comes over and then it sort of just give a little shape to it, like so. I'm just gonna use liquify and sort of change the balance of it. 
I use liquify a lot to sort of adjust different balances and like things like this because his face is a little bit uh, tilted up so that's just something that you just you know be aware of be aware of uh, was I using this brush all along I guess I was just be aware of things like that and little tricks like that okay I think he's looking good so he has this is kind of dark here He's a little chin. Okay, so now let's finish off the his face. Kind of goes like that, kind of goes like that. I'll give him a nice round face. And this this little bit sorts of, sorts of sort of comes off like that. So we'll do that there. Bring this around. I'm like saying all this like a little bit of that there, a little bit of this there, but I guess that's that's kind of how I work. Now I feel like there's actually more space than I have on mine, like his face looks stunted. So I'm going to go ahead and... Well, there's a couple of things I can do. I can either just select all of this and bring it down and see if that helps. I guess that works. Yeah, I guess that works. That's not too bad. Okay, so we'll give him some little fluffies in here for his ears. He's got very fluffy ears. And then he has, I love these little marks that are here. These two little marks, I do them as little circles. And I, and I, I really love doing them. So we'll do one here. And one here. And then we'll make this sort of like his, almost like an eyebrow. It sort of gives him that nice light feel. Okay, and now we have his little neck. So it looks like his neck is turned a little bit, so we'll just... Oops, we'll do it a little bit further over. And actually, I'm going to lighten this up a little bit because this line is very dark and his face, his fur is really light there, so I don't want really dark lines. So we'll just lighten that up a little bit. There we go, that's better. And let's just do a little bit of his neck and we'll do a little bit here. As though his neck was turned. That's not bad. So I'm just gonna thicken this up and just give him a few little a few little details to match. Doesn't have to be exact, but I like to do just like just quick details. So this top part of his fur is a little darker, so let me just darken this up a little bit. The eye sockets are a little lighter. And it's always not it's always nice to do this little separation. So I'll do a little bit here, it's a little bit lighter there. Put a little bit of color around his nose. It's fairly dark. So we'll kind of just darken that up a little bit. A little bit darker here, a little bit darker here, a little bit darker in the middle. A little bit darker here. A little bit darker here. I'll do a little trick here. So I'll use 30%. I'll go 25%. Kind of make this shape here. So I'll do 25%, then I'll take a, my erase airbrush. 
And let me just select it so I don't accidentally erase his face. Eraser, airbrush. And I'll just sort of give it a nice little gradient. And just give it a little bit of texture so it kind of matches. a little bit of this Do a smudge. Fix up his little nose a little bit. That's better. This is usually the stuff I do after I finish a tutorial, then I look at it and I'm like, oh, there's so many things wrong. Use a thinner brush.
Okay, that's a lot better. Here's a smudge. Okay, I think that's much cuter. I'm much less embarrassed of this. That's always the way it goes. I always just have to kind of rework things until I'm happy with them. As you should, always rework things until you're happy with them. Because uh, that's how art is. Sometimes you're just going to have to make changes. You're always going to have to make changes, especially for clients. So I'm always making changes. Add a little texture, because why not? Easy way to do that, I can use stubble. Stubble might be too small, we'll see. Sometimes I use the stubble. It's actually one of my favorite brushes. Erase a little bit of this. Oops. But yeah, fun stuff. I've been wanting to draw this this guy for a while. So there you have it. I'm gonna try to stop drawing, but I I just get consumed. That's better. Alright, I got some other videos to make. I'm going to do some more behind the pages of uh, some artwork that I'm going to be... I think I'm going to be published in this really, like... Um, really... What's the word? Uh, really prestigious journal actually so I'll tell you more about that hopefully I'll be able to tell you more about that and uh, so yeah I'm gonna do that work but I really just wanted to draw this cute little guy because he's adorable so there you have it there is um, the little cougar cute cougar uh, shout out again to Gretchen Mogensen on TikTok and on Instagram this is from Instagram and let me see if I can just make a, an arrow that will work for YouTube. What color should I use? Uh, I'll use this color. It's nice and bright. Oh, that kind of doesn't work. I feel like I need like a darker color. No, it doesn't work either. Let's use a bright red. That kind of works. I like it. Oh, I made this really small. Let's move it over to the center. A little bigger. And that should work as a... as a... Uh, thumbnail. Alright. See you guys in the next one.